I swear I'm gonna get kicked out of this fandom. I ain't never fallen so damn hard for a drama in my damn life. Guys, this thing opens with a gal kicking ass. Hell mother flippin' yes to that. There is no quicker way to my fangirl heart than seeing a woman be a badass. Now, despite Park Shanae's track record, she is all the fandamtastic in this role. Literally, she kicks ass at kicking ass. Her character is sassy and kind-hearted, but also tough and resilient. This woman gets to rock at doing stuff. Drinking, doctoring, martial arts, arcade games. And best of all, she isn't just as good as the guys. She's better. She's also a character that does not tolerate people demeaning her or other women. People try to push her around, she pushes back. Girls try to slap a slap her, she stomps them down. Some assholes try to lay their hands on her, she kicks them ass. Guys, all of that was in just the first three episodes. And I was loving it with all my fangirl feels. <laughs> Until the OTP got together. And then I dropped it. I know, I know. I know. I know. Please, for the love of God, don't kill me for that. I swear it wasn't just because the romance got done that made me done. This drama spends its first few episodes back in time when the heroine is a high schooler and the hero is her teacher. Yes, admittedly problematic, but nothing went too inappropriate, so I give it a pass. I hate to say it though, but those initial episodes are where all of the interesting internal conflict and character development starts and stops. After we fast forward to our OTP doctoring together, Shiznit gets born quick. Hospital politics and a second female lead who seriously needs a hobby are pretty much the only plot thrusts left. Like I said, born as hell. We get less heroin being a bamf stuff and more recycled drama land plots that we have seen a gazillion and twelve times. Which sucks. It sucks hard for this show. Our alpha heroine was great and our beta hero didn't play caveman games. So why did the drama have to suck? This boy was supportive and kind and respectful and just everything I could ever want in a hero. And yet, after he does the kissy kiss with our girl. I spent more time scrolling Tumblr than reading subs. Now there were some small moments that really touched home even after the drama went downhill. For one, the relationship with the hero and his adopted dad. <gasps> oh my god, my feelings. When you add in the cultural issues surrounding adoption in Korea, their closeness was even more doll worthy. But that wasn't the only thing that was good after the drama went bad. After all, our OTP still had cute moments interspliced into the script. And trust that those cute moments busted my fangirl feels all over the damn floor. Like when they were wrestling in the ring, uh, my fangirl grin broke my damn face. I love that she was the one owning his ass and he loved every single second of it. Ew, so cute! And yes, even after the drama went pooey, there was still some mold breaking stuff in there. I mean, hell, at one point our heroine rescues the second male lead from an oncoming accident. She even does the dramatic twirly twirl, you know, the, where the, the thing, and that's drama gold right there. So why, damn it, did this show have to quit its originality and instead opt to play drama land trope bingo? I don't know why it did, but it did, and so I gave up at episode 10. I know, I know, I know. I probably should have stuck with it because the characters were awesome. But when shows take focus off of internal conflict and character dynamics, I get grumpy. When that focus then forces a bunch of external conflict crap in my face, I get super grumpy. And then I quit. I told you my fangirl card was gonna get confiscated. Also, I want to apologize if you guys hear any stupid construction trucky crap. I wish they would shut up. I'm sure the comments are going to be like, you're crazy. I love that show. What the hell is wrong with you? But if you've seen it, let me know and feel free to chastise me and burn me in effigy because I know I deserve it. If memory serves me correctly, I think in one of the outros I fangirled about how I was loving doctors. Oh, you ignorant child. And then of course, I'm also probably going to get in trouble because I didn't finish it and yet I'm reviewing it. Well, it's a miracle. The minute I finish, so do they. <laughs> oh, I'm cursed.